Leos! Subscribe! What up, players? What about stay up in this mud? Welcome to episode 2 of In With The Old. And episode 1 seemed to go really well, thanks for all the kind words and comments. So that kind of inspired me to go on with this new episode where I look at something new, we unbox and paint up something that is new or just released or something in the newer line of models from Games Workshop. And we also look at something old and by that I mean at least a couple years old things that I have collected over the years going back as early as when I started the hobby back when I was in my you know early to mid teens so let's take a look at this guy he is released with the new storm of magic expansion for Warhammer Fantasy it's a chaos sorcerer lord to go with the warriors of chaos as you can tell by his armor so very cool looking figure plastic the new, uh, it's not fine cast, it's uh, the new plastic that was released with Storm of Magic just today. And let's take a look at the sprues. Before we actually look at the sprues though, I want to show you something. This was the size of the clamshell when I cut it away from the pack. And this is the size of a fine cast clamshell of the Commissar Lord. The reason I keep these is because they're great to use as wet palettes. What you do is you have a little bit of parchment paper or wax paper which you can get from any kitchen and or cooking supply store, kitchen supply store and you just pour some water in the bottom and then you put the paper over it and you mix your paint and then it stays damp for a very long time. So even if you're taking stuff Paint, paint straight out of the pot. They always tell you don't paint straight out of the pot. So you take some from, take some paint from out of a paint pot and you put it in there and what with the water on the bottom it will, it will, it will stay damp. Whereas if you just took it from the pot it could be, you know, drying while you're putting it on the model and that could result in lumps and poor painting as you can see from this old school stone troll. Ooh, look at that. One of my first models. Anyways, that's not the that's not the model that we're gonna be reviewing today, but whoa, that is ugly. Okay, so <clears throat> here is the sprue for the Chaos Sorcerer Lord. Let's take a look at it. I've noticed with all four of the new releases in plastic, they all come on their own special base. And I don't know if that's a thing they're going to be doing where they're going to be getting rid of the old bases, the old regular square bases, but yeah, I don't know how I feel about that because, you know, they look really nice, but they kind of, kind of limits you. It's only one sprue. And of course, if you don't like it, you can just put them on a regular base. So of course, that's always an option. So it looks like the, the legs and the torso, the back part of the torso come in one piece, the front part comes in another piece, one head, and two different options for arms, or no, no, no different options for arms because you put this on there, you put that on the other side, what is this sword thing, where does that go? Let's take a look at it, where does your sword go buddy, oh, on the back of his yeah. So as you can see, they make only enough to do what is absolutely necessary. No scrimping. Times are hard. See, yep, there's a little slot for your sword. But let's take a look at the at the detail. Oh, what what is forward? That way forward. You are here. This way up. What? Games Workshop. Killing me. Uh, don't mock my people. Yeah, so there's 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 really no room for extra anything. Like that. The Eye of Sauron. So I'm gonna build this guy up and show you what he looks like when we come back. And we're back. Model was super easy to put together. The one thing that I did notice was that 
he does not stand on his base very well and after you know moving him and positioning him I realized that okay the arrow is supposed to be where his foot goes so your foot the sorcerer's foot is supposed to cover the arrow his front foot and the back arrow uh, back foot goes into this groove over here another thing I noticed was that the base isn't actually a custom base but it, it's actually like a base cap let's see if we can take a look at it or it's a cap that goes over the base it looks like they molded one to go over a regular square base here you can see really well see so it looks like they have a custom built kind of cap made and they just put it over the base and then they train them out. So, when the model is... Woo! Almost had to sneeze. So when the model is standing on the base, the, because his feet can only be positioned in a certain way, because you don't really have any freedom of flexibility, the feet supposed to stand left foot on the, on the arrow, right foot back here. I, I guess you could with green stuff or whatever, but when I position mine on, it, it, he was facing the wrong way so I had to readjust his head and so that creates a kind of a funky join from where his head meets the neck so I'm, I might green stuff over that or I might just paint it black so you can't see it from far away but I kinda like his position because it looks like he's in the middle of casting a spell raising the staff nice and high and I, I, I kinda think that this is gonna work for me so so this is a last look at him before I take him out to get painted and let's take a look at with the old, what I'm doing with the old, and this is a Chaos Slanesh Champion. It says it's a champion, but I might use it as a sorcerer just because he or she is holding the book, this book. So it's a great opportunity to do some freehand. There's a really bad mold line right in the middle, so once that's painted over, hopefully it'll look a little bit better. But this model is not personally from my own old, old, ancient personal collection, but I got it in a trade with a good buddy of mine, so I'm gonna paint him up as best I can, and we'll see both of these models when we return. Slanesh Champion 1988 Can you believe that? All right, as you can see, I'm done. I finished, here these guys are, hanging out like buddies, best friends, right before they go out to a pub together to grab a pint. Let's take a look at the new first. So, here's a Sorcerer Lord from Storm of Magic release, the latest one for Warhammer Fantasy. And here's his staff. I had a lot of fun painting up the staff because Anything with gold, I, I experimented a new way of painting my gold where I based it in a dark color, Calton Brown, and then I painted the shining gold color over and then I washed it with Bad Ab Black, of course, but then when I highlighted up, I used Mithril Silver mixed in and then painted the edges. So it gives the effect that the light is catching it, but really it's it's almost an optical illusion because I painted it to look silver so to make it look like the light is always catching it from wherever you look so it's a new trick I tried out today and I think it turned out pretty well this is lightning on his staff I painted him with a little bit more of a purpley skin tone let's take a look at the clamshell for a second this guy it seemed like he had purple a purple skin tone but when I looked at the GW website, it was a lot blacker. It was dark, so so I just, you know, I was already going with it, and I was like, you know, it's okay. It gives it a little bit more of a color. I'm surprised that GW didn't paint the robe a different color. It went with this black, but I think that's so that maybe the trim could pop out more. This this gold trim with the top half of the eight-sided Star of Chaos on it. So yeah, I had a lot of fun with that. For that, I did the same thing. I painted in Calton Brown, and then I went over it with a layer of shining gold so that it's it shines and sparkles in the light. Oh, so beautiful. And there's a little close-up of his belt buckle. Really proud of that because I sh 
shaded it down with a cerement blue with a base of hawk turquoise and then I highlighted it back up and I think it turned out really nice. Looks like candy. If anything looks like candy, then it's good, in my opinion. That's what I always say. So I think the orange glowing eyes works really well with this figure as well. So yeah, I'm really happy with it. Then let's take a look at the old model, 1988 Slanesh Champion. He's got this weird thing on his on his armor, on the front part of his armor. Not sure what that is, but looks like a naked body just splayed out. And I think it's supposed to symbolize Slanesh because it's got half of it, half of the body is female, and the other half is male. So it's kind of gross, but it it's not painted to be like gold or you know, some kind of metal. It actually looks like it's real skin and stuff. Just looks like a little, a little creature. So, since this is a sorcerer, I'm gonna just say that it's, it's the sort. It's his familiar, and it's just a little embodiment of Slanesh that was given to the sorcerer to tap into for power. So for that, I put two little studs into the middle part of the torso, kind of like they're nailing it to this guy's armor, nailing the little little demon familiar and I painted a little bit of turquoise and ice blue on the edges kind of to give it a magical glow symbolizing that it was sticking this little demon creature in place. Yeah. I painted the sword in a, like a crystal sword. I'm gonna touch it up just a little bit so that the white isn't as as chunky but other than that I'm pretty happy with the way it turned out and I used the Harlequin checks on the pants. So I think that turned out pretty well. I also went with blue veins in the guy's arms to give it a kind of sickly, pale, morbid kind of kind of feel. And is there anything else? I did flayed skin loincloth, of course. It's my my specialty. It's what I love doing and I gave him a little bit of a glowing eye effect. I didn't want it to be too severe. So just a little bit of a hint. And there's his little spell book, How to Summon Demonettes. <laughs> and to do that, I just looked online for a picture of, I searched, I think, Slanesh Demonette, and um, some great art pops up. So I used one of those, took a micron pen to it, and there you go. Anyways, here are my two guys, side by side. Buddies in the Warriors of Chaos army. So, let me know what you guys think. Leave, leave me a comment, like the video, favorite it if, if you really love it. I, I'm loving this new series and I'm, I'm really happy with it, especially since I bought so much new stuff over the next coming weeks. I'm gonna see how many of these I can churn out, but I'm having a great time with it. Let me know what you think of the music too. Is it too much? Is it not enough? Is it, you know, would you rather have some hardcore rock and roll because I don't know where to get any of that? I don't know, just tell me what you think. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you guys found a little bit of inspiration for your own painting. And if there's anything I can answer, any questions you might have, please leave them in the comments. Slushy snow. That's right, y'all. Alright, hope you guys liked it. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you later.